All right, so I'm actually using a uh, different microphone. Oh, hold on. So I'm actually using a uh, new uh, microphone setting here. I actually found my uh, old uh, Microsoft Life Cam that I've had for probably a few years already. So uh, fine, and it actually has a built-in microphone on it. So finally, I don't have to use the built-in microphone on my laptop anymore. The one that always gets messed up apparently by certain programs. But um, yeah. So um, it's not it's not really good like. Uh, any other microphone but it's not like that good because the quality is not like perfect but still at least I don't have to use my microphone anymore the built-in one so uh, I can actually um, start recordings without having to um, make some noises at first because before it would make like extremely loud noises when it tried to uh, record stuff from the game itself which is which was which I always thought was kind of weird but finally I won't have to do that anymore so yeah because I have this now because this one's not built in I just plug it into my computer and I'm set to go so yeah so I'm just gonna try something else something out here I'm gonna put in I'm just gonna play the intro sequence here because I'm just testing this out so yeah so I'm just gonna try to play the intro sequence here and then I'm well yeah so I'm glad I finally found it because I didn't know where it was before but I finally found it so I'm also playing this at a higher resolution as well so we're gonna see how all this goes Like, for instance, it will now record... I have found out it does record uh, the sound from the game. Still do the seizure thing. There's always a problem with the door control system. Alright, here we go. Alright then. So as you can see, I still uh, didn't change the fog color back to uh, normal, actually. Alright, let's see here. Gonna get the gas mask. Gonna run. Get the batteries. Okay. Alright. Nothing there. Uh, I actually found out right here, if you drop things, they can go right through the ground, and, uh, hold on a second, I'm gonna try it, there, see, it actually went, like, right through there, apparently I can still pick it up, so I never noticed that before, he's probably there, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this, it's just a test, so, it's not gonna be a long video anyway, he's not there, Okay, good. Alright then. Another tunnel. Corrosion effect. Alright. I'm pretty sure that's SCP-106's corrosion effect I just saw. So he must be near then. That still has the document of SCP-895. This is 860. When SCP-860 is used to unlock open a door, door does not lead its usual destination. Instead, opens to a small forest clearing. Yeah, what's kind of weird is because you can only like read the entire like thing at a, at like a certain resolution. If you change the resolution, you can't read the entire uh, document. Which is kind of strange. And there's also something over here as well. Uh, there's a navigator. And here's also a level 1 key card. One seven three is going to be here. I just know it. No? Okay, well there's still more gas. Hold on, I think I just saw him. Okay. No, I didn't. 
My eyes playing tricks on me, obviously. Tunnel Simulator 2012. That's that's just how I can describe this. Oh. SCP-372. I'm not going to deal with that today. Tunnels everywhere. Okay, then. Doesn't matter. Oh. Hold on, this place looks different. I need a higher security clearance. We're back. We're back here. Whoa! Okay, that sort of freaked me out. There's like a wall. There's like a barrier here. Oh, and I can go right through it. And it's not there anymore. And then suddenly, it's it's back. Okay. Well, that's kind of creepy. Well, like I, like I said a long time ago, um, this game is still in alpha stage, so there are some still some bugs to fix. Which probably, that is most likely a bug. This place again. Why the heck, why are the rooms repeating themselves? Okay, forget the key card. That's still the 895 document. That's the 860. There's another level 1 key card. What is this now? Electrical center. Uh, I have actually seen this. Um, I actually did record it, though. Um, I can actually knock the power out with... with uh, If I go into the electrical center, I can actually like knock the power out here. I'm gonna try it. So you want to know how to do it? You go into this place and you just wait. And there you go. Or wait a second. Oh, what the heck? Am I... M okay, I can move with the arrow keys as well. I'm using WASD. What can I do here, then? Do I move it up? Okay, primary lighting. Do I scroll down with, with, like, the scroll wheel or something? I don't know what I do. What about this? Oh, hold on. Remote door control. Well, I have no idea what I just done. But yeah, you know what, I think I'm gonna end this off here. So that was just basically a microphone test with SCP Containment Breach, so yeah. Well, anyway, this was a microphone test with SCP Containment Breach. It's Dr. Robotic 64 Thank you for watching, and if you want, feel free to like or favorite this video, or maybe even subscribe if you want to see more Containment Breach videos, or maybe just some gameplay and rant videos. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video I make, then. Later.